Hi guys, it's Chris at PDQ.com. Today we're going to go over some questions that we've had that we've had asked at previous webcasts. In this case, pertaining to PowerShell, we've been asked on uh, several occasions, "What's the difference between for each and for each object?" It's a good question. It, it trips up a lot of beginners with PowerShell. So let's just show you that. Let's first create uh, a variable. We'll call it my variable. And we'll just create a simple array with the values 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So the two different constructs here from for each and for each object. Let's go over the, the, that second one. The for each object, it's being able to loop through items while it's in the pipeline. This allows you to massage it, do whatever you need to it, and then pass it down the pipeline to, uh, to the next command. For each by itself, that allows you to loop through a list of, of a collection through a list. It allows you to kind of go through those and uh, anyway, it'll, it'll, I'll show you better with an example. So for each object, we have my variable. We're going to pipe that over to for each object. When you're in the pipeline using for each object, it's really important to note that in order to reference the current object in the pipeline, you need to use the placeholder variable, which is either the dollar underscore in any version of PowerShell or in recent versions of PowerShell from three onward, you can use a dollar PS item to reference that same placeholder object. But out of habit and what I do normally, I'm just going to use dollar underscore. So for each object here, I can simply just run it. So I'm going to run this line. Oh, let's actually let's actually do something with you. For each object, let's actually do right output. Let's actually see your value here. I forgot to set my variable too. So there they are. Here, here is my value. Run that, hitting F5. Here's my value, 13579. It works great. I can do the same style by doing a for each object. For each, well, here's the general construct, what it looks like. And then in the for each, within the parentheses, you define what you want to call the internal variable. So I am fond of the term guy. So for each guy in my variable, that's going to say for each object that's in there, let's do some stuff. So in this case, we'll do what we did before. Here is my value in the for each loop guy. And then we'll just run just that. Here's my value in the for each loop. They're very similar in how they work, but this does allow a little extra flexibility. I tend to favor the for each loop, the, this, the second one here that I have highlighted, simply because it allows you to spell out the name of a variable, in this case, guy, for each guy, and then I can use that within my script. The for each object, you can break onto different lines, similar to the for each loop here, but you just gotta remember that you need to use the dollar underscore or the dollar PS item, unless you decide to change it new variable equals dollar underscore and then I can use this new variable in place of my dollar underscore here and then run that. So there's a lot of flexibility here. There is one important kind of advanced uh, mention for for each object that I will show you. I hit the dash button to show the parameters for the for each object commandlet. There is a begin, a process, and an end. You can actually have separate script blocks, three separate script blocks. There's a begin set script block, there's a process script block, and an end script block for the for each object. So I can do fancy things like write output, here is the beginning. I'm gonna do process, here are my values. I'm just going to do double quotes here. And then for the end script block, which we actually have to scroll over for here. Right output. This is the end. Now when I run that line, just tapping F8, it'll run the entire line. You'll see that there's the beginning, there's the middle, and there's the end. So if you do like to do that, that the begin and the end processing, you're going to want to use for each object, but that's really the main difference between the two. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to us and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris at pdq.com.